A lot of things have changed since patch 1.1 ever child came out. We're in 1.4 now. There's a lot more strategies and equipment that you can utilize on this character. We're gonna be tackling all of that stuff for you in this video, whether you want that big AOE damage that he is known for, or if you wanna go for this single target, sort of chain gun supportive damage in the back characters due to his fast attack speed, he abuses those. We're talking about that as well in this video. So let's get into artifacts and weapon selection here. Artifact selection for you guys. Right away, Heart of Depth set is the go-to one. There's another one we'll be talking about as well, but this is the straight up go-to artifact set. Two piece hydro damage bonus, 15% awesome. Four piece, when you use an elemental skill, is melee form. You're gonna do 30% increased damage with your normal and charged attacks. That's gonna be very, very strong for this character. There's another set though that we're gonna be talking about. And I think that set is better, but you can't put that set in any team comp. This one you can. So artifact main set, subsets, what are you looking here? The crit chance and the crit damage are the two most important stats for any damage dealer. And he is no exception, but also crit chance is even more impressive of a stat for him because it can allow you to apply that rip type proc. And a lot of you guys out there don't really know how that proc works or how to take advantage of that proc. We're gonna be tackling that as well after we get done talking about his gear. So you have a lot of crit chance substats in your artifacts, right? Your flower has a bunch, your feather has a bunch. You're at that 50, 55%, 60% crit chance already. And you can wear a crit damage circlet. If you don't have that though, right? You're only at like 30 something percent crit chance with your substats or your weapons. Now, when it comes to bows, by far the best bow for him in the game is the Skyward Harp. This is because it has a bunch of crit chance and it has that nice proc on it. And he really wants that crit chance. High, high attack percent, free damage on the proc. That's gonna be doing AOE, which is pretty nice. It'll be a little bit of your DPS, but it's still really nice, but it has that free crit chance on it as well. And it's got those five star stats. It's got this big attack. Now, if you don't have the Skyward Harp, second one to look at here is the Rust. The Rust is extremely powerful, especially if you get some refinements on it gives substat attack percent a ton of that, and then it gives up to 80% additional damage dealt via your normal attack. That does count his melee form as well. Rust is insanely good for him. If you don't have either of those two weapons here, but you if have the Battle Pass Bow, you can get this one as well. The Battle Pass Bow, the Viridescent Hunt, crit chance percent is gonna be good. It's like a mini Skyward Heart, but it doesn't have those big bad boy five-star base stats from a five-star weapon. Outside of that, you also have access to the prototype Crescent. This is going to make you do a charge attack headshot, right? It's gonna add a little bit of step in your game there, but it's gonna give you a huge attack percent boost there. And then you'll charge shot someone in the head and you'll, then you'll go into your melee stance. It's gonna give you a ton of attack percent for a four star weapon. Those are definitely the best ways to really, really just get damage on everything that you do there. But another thing that you can do here is the stringless, the stringless elemental skill damage up, elemental burst damage up on top of that. So if you're really here to maximize how much damage you're doing, especially in a vaporized like elemental burst build, this one is also pretty good because you have that little bit of elemental mastery that's going to help you there. So Rust, easy to use, works everywhere. Skyward Harp, by far the best, bees out everything. If you want to add a little pep to your step and add a little bit of skill to your will, Prototype Crescent is for you. So before we get into the secret sauce set here for you guys, I want you guys to know exactly how to utilize the Riptide effect. There's a multiple different Riptide effects that you're really looking into. There's a couple that you don't really care about. The one that you don't really care about here is Riptide Flash. This is for charge attacking with your bow form into something that already has a Riptide effect on it. This can do a very small multiplier, but then you have Riptide Burst, then you have Riptide Slash, and then you have Riptide Blast. Now, when you level up your skills, not only do you get to level up the actual stuff, you do need to level up your normal attack because it's going to increase the Riptide burst damage. This one procs whenever you defeat an enemy who has the Riptide effect on. Riptide Slash is gonna proc every time you hit someone with the Riptide effect on and you will apply Riptide every time you crit in melee form due to his ascension down here, the Sword of Torrents. That's why crit chance is so good on him. And then Riptide Blast is a second part of his elemental burst damage skill here. And these effects can all crit and they take your crit damage and all of that good stuff. And they also hit in AOE, which is why Child is so good in AOE circumstances. And as these are all AOE effects, they're very, very important for his AOE burst damage. But also note that you're using like the Rust and all this other stuff, these skills don't all count as normal attack damage. They count as different things. So the Riptide Blast counts as elemental burst damage. Riptide Slash counts as elemental skill damage, but we do have Riptide Burst counting as normal attack damage, but this is the weakest of the three important ones 
The ones that's going to happen the most often is the elemental skill damage, one from raging tide when you're in melee form, and then the elemental burst damage from when you actually use your elemental burst in melee form. How do we take advantage of this? Well, we take advantage of this with a unique team composition and a unique setup here, because the more you crit, the higher your crit damage is, the more damage you're doing with your normal tech and charge attack string as child, but also the more damage you're going to be doing with these big Riptide procs. So what sort of set are we looking at for this situation? Yes, you probably you probably figured it out. We're actually going to use the Blizzard Strayer set. The Blizzard Strayer set is phenomenally strong here for a build like child if you have the gear farmed up and these sets both drop in the same domain so if you want to put a freeze team together with the cryo set you're free to do so if you want to put him in any non-cryo team you're also going to be able to farm up the water set at the same time in that situation now why is this set good the two-piece set bonus you look at this here, you are mad you were crazy dumb this is a cryo set yeah the two-piece bonus is dead but check this out you put him in a cryo team of the four piece bonus he's a hydro character who's already one part of freeze you have a cryo character in your team ganyu kaya uh diona can go in there as well and you're gonna have water plus cryo which equals freeze and child can get into there and freeze things for an eternity because you're gonna have these persistent cryo effects from other people's elemental burst effects and you're gonna have mainly form child applying that hydro you're gonna have freeze for forever so this makes you extremely extremely safe because things are permanently frozen but on top of that you get 40 percent free crit rate on top of that you can have a second cryo character in your team maybe you can go diana as your healer and then kaya as your second cryo and the activator for part of your freeze combination you have two freeze activators and you have child in there ready to rear and go and you have the additional two person cryo elemental resonance buff which is 15% free crit rate. Now you have 55% crit rate already on your child ready to go. You put a crit rate circling on, or you put a crit rate damage on uh, for a circlet, and you're gonna have 80, 85% crit rate in those Riptide effects, the Riptide Burst, the Riptide Slash, and the Riptide Blast are all almost 100% crit rate, or if you have some substats, 100% crit rate, which is going to phenomenally increase how much damage you do, max crit rate, max crit damage, and attack percent and all you're really losing is this hydro set bonus the 30 percent normal charge attack it's okay it's really not super crazy especially if you're wearing rust because this is not 30 percent damage increase it's a 30 percent multiplier that's an additive multiplier to all of your other multiplier increases what do i mean by that tldr hydro damage stacks 15 percent here stacks additively with the four piece so that's 45 percent that stacks additively with your goblet 46%, so now you're at 91%. You can trade some of that off, and if you have Rust, you get an additional 80% additive multiplier there, which is very good, but if you reduce that multiplier by 30, 45%, you still have a 100% multiplier additive there because you're using the Rust, right? And then you just go, I'm always critting, and I have 200% crit damage. It is so much more damage because not only does it apply to his stuff, his normal attack and charge attack strings, it applies to all of the Riptides, and all of those Riptides are AoE. So now you're in a AoE circumstance, hitting things for four times, all AoE, 16 hits, all crit with 200% crit damage. That is the way to go about it. It is an incredibly powerful team composition. So for a freeze team, double crowd could be Ganyu, Diona could be Diona, Kea, and you have an animal character in there as well. You can use Sucrose, you can use Venti, you can also use Zong Li. I know he's not animal, but he does have the ability to reduce element resistances, which is why we have these characters in this party as well. The animal characters can wear that viridescent set, right? Get in there, 40% water resist down, really boosting our damage up. Or if you have Ganyu in there, that can help her out as well. Or instead of those characters, like we said, you can put the big Zong Li in here as well. Get that 20% resist down to physical attacks in all element. So you have Tartaglia feeling good, getting that hydro resist down getting that crowd resist down in case you want to do extra damage with the other characters and zongli can get in here and do some nice damage of his own with a nice big zongli build so there's a lot of stuff you can do out there right kaya easy to slide in here if you've worked on kaya uh get in here use him use diona and then you know what go in here put sucrose in here you'll be good to go that's totally fine you are more than welcome to throw sucrose in this party and make it as free to play by the way as possible you got your five star you finally got your first pd character it was child you have character you start the game with 
a four star and a four star character good to go there that's a lot of stuff you can do with child outside of freeze teams you can kind of put them in wherever you want to go and have access to use your animal character get in here use that water set throw zongli in here and you have 40 percent resist down with sucrose you have 20 percent resist down with zongli and if you want to go lose your mind you can go and put xing Shou in here as well and you have 40 percent from viridescent 20 percent from zongli another 15 percent hydro down from xing Shou. Get into there do that damage can show you building for dps he's gonna help you do that gatling gung big time single target dps which is the other team composition we could talk about use the same exact team swap him out here throw in official boom like you saw at the start of the video swords raining down child doing his thing attacking really fast uh, official especially with the constellation six if you do have access to that you don't need it but if you do have access to that big bullets from oz Lions. you can have damage coming in from all sides you have the resist down on sucrose as well or venti or zongli whatever one of those three you want to use in this team composition this is the machine gun team it is very fun to play and a lot of your characters can do a ton of damage now if somehow this is your video that you're watching for is this character worth it to build and play i got him is should i pull in this manner he's a significantly strong dps especially in that freeze team composition because you keep yourself free and safe and do a bunch of aoe damage he suffers in the single target damage comparison. He can't really do Dragon Strike either, which is something that some players have fun out there with. Maybe that's a death now. He's not a Dragon Strike character, doesn't have a charge attack in his melee form. But if you do like the character, it's Genshin Impact. Listen, guys, all of the characters can be all of the content. Some of them just need a little bit more love than others, but Child doesn't need that much more love than anyone else. He just needs, just like anyone else, the proper team composition put all those things together if you want to have more information have more fun with the characters that you enjoy in genshin have a little bit of hype have a little bit of fun and have a lot of bit of knowledge make sure you come check us out we always are doing math on stream twitch.tv as well all of this stuff is mathematically based sometimes you just don't see it though because you all snore off when i put them spreadsheets up all right so i'll see you guys in the next one take care